right. Happy Friday, happy Friday. I'm just cleaning off my palette knives, getting everything prepared. Give a moment for everyone to get in here. I've got a couple of plaques, a six, four, two four by sixes, and a five by seven, I believe. And I have a little bit of purple paint left, so I'm actually going to do the dirty pour right here in this little bit of purple that's left. This is going to be somewhat of a short live stream tonight, not too long. And so that was permanent violet, and I'm putting a little bit of plum in here. Hey, Carla, how are you doing? How was your week? Just trying to finish off a little bit of this paint. And there's some plum. And that's the end of that one. And I'm going to put some lavender. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so nervous. I get I get super, super nervous before the cells. I don't know what I, I should be used to this by now. I've done so many, but I get so nervous. So thank you. Depending on how busy we are and how um, if there's music going on the intercom, if I can go live or even do some videos tomorrow, I'll really try. Because sometimes there's music going. So, all right, I've got a pretty variety of purples here. I'm going to do this back one here. It's the one bottom for you guys. I'm just going to do a dirty pour here. All right. I'm going to wipe my hands off and then I'll grab my torch. I definitely want to show you guys my setup. I'll definitely try to take a short little video and show you guys. Um, in years past when I've done all of my sales, I have always had um, tables, pretty much just tables. I have grid wall now, so I can hang up my paintings a little bit better. I'm getting a few cells there, but I don't have any silicone in there. So really not gonna get too many. Here, let's get that a little bit more in there. So we've got a little bit of purples left in there. We're gonna actually add a little bit more to that. This one, I'm going to put some pearl, some just shiny pearl color. Thank you, thank you. A little bit more of that plum. And I think we'll throw some pink in there. All right, now this should be enough for this one. And this will dry with a nice shimmer because it does have that um, pearl color. So the next one's going to be purples, but I'm going to throw a little bit of this turquoise I have here, too. Mm. 
how was your week? And what do you have planned for the weekend? All right, wiping my hands off and then we'll torch that one. Can I give this one a little bit more of a torch? Sometimes if you wait a moment and give it another torch, you can get a little bit more to pop up. All right. Yeah, this one's going to be real nice because it has some nice shimmery effects going through it. Just going to wipe the edges down here. Um, sometimes it helps because it won't pull the image off anymore. The gravity will just keep pulling the paint sometimes if you don't. And there's more cells popping up on this one. That's real nice. That one I had just shook up the paint so I was able to get quite a bit there. Oh, chasing your grandson and hugging and kissing him. That sounds awesome. Oh, sweet. I'm going to try to give you a little bit better of a look real quick. All right, I'm going to get those moved out of the way, and then I have a little bit larger one. And then I usually what I'll do is I'll add cup hooks and make these into like a necklace hanger or a key rack or leash rack. Lots of people use them for all kinds of different reasons. So, okay, I'm going to get that one moved out of the way. Or those two moved out of the way, really, not that one. So this is kind of going to be a short live stream today. It's not going to be too long. All right, we still have a little bit of the purple. We're going to just keep adding some colors right in there and keep using that same cup. It's actually uh, rice pudding. That's Mike's favorite. That, that's what this is, was a recycled rice pudding container. But we're going to add a little bit of turquoise in on this one. And a little bit of this pink. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and use up the rest of that pink. It's not that much left. Might as well just use that one up too. All right. Oh yeah, you were. Did you look on the Etsy and see some of the key holders? I have so many. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get a little bit of this. Uh, it's Deco Art Vivid Violet. Oh, thank you, thank you. Just kind of letting it do its thing, go over the edge. Helping it a little bit. All right, let me wipe my hands. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, once I have everything set up for tomorrow, I will do video of the booth. Hopefully, maybe go live. I'll be able to show you I have a lot more than is even on my Etsy. I need to get busy putting the rest of it on my Etsy. All right, that's about what that's going to do. I'll set this guy aside. Hey, your average girl, how are you doing? How have you been? And a package of wipes that keeps falling down. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's fun colors. I'll let that one sit there for just a moment. Um, you're eating dinner. What are you guys having for dinner? We haven't had dinner yet. We're going to have some chicken strips. We're worn out from getting everything ready. I have a big craft sale tomorrow. So we're going to use the air fryer and do some chicken strips tonight, make it easy. And some salad and just super easy stuff. So after this live stream, that's what we'll have dinner after this. Oh, chicken and dumplings. Uh, last Sunday night, I made chicken and dumplings. So we had chicken and dumplings uh, Sunday and Monday. It was, uh, you know, when you make chicken and dumplings, I don't know, for us, we always have a good big two days, big leftovers and everything. The air fryer, yes, I love our air fryer. We make so much, uh, all the, you know, easy stuff for kids, you know, chicken strips and stuff like that. But then also like um, broccoli, cauliflower, chicken breast. Uh, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, kale chips. Uh, we have roasted so many veggies. We've I love our we use our air fryer every few days, a couple at least three, four times a week. <laughs> so all right, guys, I'm gonna I don't know if you guys have watched. It's kind of been how nice sales popping up, some fun stuff going on. But I'm gonna go ahead and move this one out of the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just make enough for one night and then a, a one bowl for the next day. Sometimes I do that. I'll make enough just for the, um, like, uh, the kids sometimes take in thermos, you know, of it. and they're, Or Mike will take a thermos of it to work. All right. Just trying to get this bottom to kind of not be quite so drippy. Those wipes, every time I move the, it's a package of baby wipes keeps falling. This darn package here keeps falling. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this one moved out of the way. And it's got these ribbons right here and right here. I've got that pearl color. So it's got a real nice shimmer to it, too. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up. Hey, H7, I'll, I'll show you real quick before I move it. I was just getting ready to move that one out of the way. Now I'm going to get this. Let's see. I got to find, find a couple of cups. Here's a yogurt and a yogurt. We use a lot. We eat a lot of Tomac yogurt, I guess. How was your day, H7? How did everything, to, how was your day today? Let's see, I wonder if these are the same height. Yeah, that's the same height. Yes, yes, we had um, the, the, that was weird. 
the bear's head tooth mushroom tasted like crab and had a texture of crab too. Oh, awesome, awesome. That's good to hear that it went well. I'm going to do um, like a random swipe on this one. So this is going to be a shorter live stream, guys. This isn't going to be that long today. Um, I'm hoping to pop on sometime here, uh, maybe Sunday, because um, next Friday I won't be live either. Because next Friday we'll be setting up for the next sale. So I'm trying to think ahead and uh, it's got it's busy, busy time of the year. This is going to be kind of a random swipe. So I'm just kind of was getting that. Yes, yes, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hopefully maybe I can go live tomorrow. A lot of the craft sales will have um, music playing over the intercom. So that's a lot of the times. But I definitely wanna show you guys like my booth and my little area and stuff. There's not that much pink left, but we're gonna do like a swipe, just kind of random around. So I'm just randomly throwing some paint down and then I'll swipe the paint around kind of to get it more evenly and to get some swipe kind of cells going and stuff. Oh, thank you. All right, let's see. Should I add any more color? I'm, I kind of want to add some more of this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab some purple, some darker purple. That should do it. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll show because this year my setup is completely different because I have like um, grid wall. I'm going to take one four foot table, but it's mainly going to be shelving and grid wall. So everything's going to be like hanging up. So it's going to be totally different. I'm bringing the palette knife back and then I wipe the palette knife off. This one's going to look very um, kind of uh, let me see if I can get that back in frame a little bit better. There we go. All right. Um, I 
And the thing with the swiping is you just barely swipe across the surface. You don't put much um, pressure down at all. Awesome. I have to get the smaller one, maybe. Looking very like unicorn. All right, let me see if I can grab the smaller one. That's a bigger one. That's not a smaller one. Hey, Dina, how are you doing? How has your week been? Let me grab. I was looking for, there we go, a clean rag. Yes, the cells are just kind of growing there. But like I, I said, this is going to be a shorter live stream so this is actually my last one but I'm just kind of taking my time doing it slow though all right now I'm going to get in here where I kind of couldn't fit the so I'm going to go right about here there we go So what's everyone else doing this weekend? Trying to see how I can fit this little guy in here and All right. Day by day, various projects. It's like you're in a car wash. All right. And this one has a lovely shimmer because that white is actually pearl. Probably not much going to happen with the torch. A couple little more popped up, but not too much. You have both grandkids and you're going salmon fishing. Oh, fun. How's your knee doing? Oh, I did. I asked that before. I, your back and your knee are killing you. Oh. I hope it's feeling better for salmon fishing. Oh, I, that's no good. We have salmon in the freezer. <laughs> we have two fillets in the freezer. Well, maybe we'll have that on Sunday. But yeah, so good luck salmon fishing. That's awesome. 
we we live up um, near the Columbia River, the Columbia River Gorge, and there's amazing salmon fishing in the Columbia River. Thank you. Let's see if I can get it a little bit more in focus there. Oh no, that doesn't help the healing process. You torqued it a little. Oh yeah, that doesn't help the healing. Thank you, your average girl. Oh, you got a nice brown trout. Awesome. The trout we get are so small. We, we pretty much have, we haven't gotten uh, too big of trout in quite some time. Yeah, the fishing is always good until the state closes it early. Yeah, the fishing season was cut short and they said that uh, they were really low numbers, so they shut the fishing down. So the salmon fishing, it was kind of sucked. It was short this year. Yeah, my husband, Mike the Greek, that's my husband. He's, uh, he's a huge fisherman. He loves fishing. His profile picture, that's a, um, a sturgeon. So... So did you guys see my video? I did um, owls, a whole bunch of different owl things. So this is pretty much dry now. I got to pry it out of the pan, but it turned out pretty dark, but it turned out really pretty. And have you guys seen the, um, yeah, she's uh, near Buffalo, New York. Did you go to the, you had to go to the airport the other day. You had to get off and go to the airport. Was that for the grandkids? But, um, so, uh, yeah, the other day I did an owl video, and then I did a Dollar Tree video. Do you guys uh, paint much with brushes, do brush work? The very end of my Dollar Tree haul, I gave a uh, kind of a tip of um, uh, it was um, how to clean your brushes really, really easy with a Dollar Tree face scrubby. It helps you clean your paint brushes. That, was at, that tip is at the very end of my Dollar Tree haul. Oh, your salmon season is um, horrible. Worst year in like 30 years. Oh, wow. These magnets from Tuesday. Oh, I can't get them off there without bumping that other one. They're drying beautifully. They're drying up really well. Oh, yeah, um, certain paints, you know, I just uh, I've learned that certain colors like this uh, plum, this plum dries pretty dark, and um, this berry cobbler, it dries pretty dark. So I, it's the color combination I used. It just happens to be what colors that dry a little bit darker. So it dried pretty dark, but, I mean, it's really pretty. I kind of knew it was going to dry pretty dark like that. Thank you. Yeah, we had a poor run of Chinook salmon, but a good coho. I love the Dollar Tree too. <laughs> sometimes I call it Disneyland because sometimes I get so excited for new Dollar Tree stuff. Because I, I look at everything and even kitchen stuff, I mean everything and like, what, how can I use that to pour and how can I pour paint on that or how could I paint it and make it all different? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, it's dry to the touch, but it's not completely dry where I can varnish it. And so in another probably week, week and a half, I can varnish it and it will, it'll kind of brighten up quite a bit actually. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So you've got brown trout, rainbow trout, and coho coming in. Oh, awesome. 
Yeah, I love their Halloween. They had all kinds of cool Halloween decor. And they're already putting out, you know, a lot of their Christmas decor. And it looks like their Christmas decor is going to be really pretty, too. Um, our house is always, we always do our Christmas tree in, like, silvers and whites and blues. But all their Christmas decor makes me want to go back to the old fashioned like greens and reds and because they got so much pretty stuff. But they don't have that much stuff in the blues and the silvers. Makes me kind of want to go back to put up some, you know, just the traditional colors. But we've usually our tree is always like blues and whites and silver. But yeah, so you guys have kind of been able to watch it kind of this morph and uh, more cells have popped up and uh, it's kind of cool. The pearl has got a nice sheen uh, lacing across the top. Oh, wow. Okay, so they've already taken all your Halloween stuff and put it on half an aisle. Wow, yeah, probably put make room for all the... Christmas stuff. I've seen it. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree this week, so I don't know. Yeah, we had some power outages at the hatcheries. It was terrible, like thousands and thousands of little, little, what do you call the little baby fish? I can't think of the name, but fries, little fries, <laughs> I guess. But so, yeah. Uh, we did at the beginning of this live stream. Sorry, some of you guys weren't in. I need to slow down before I start pouring and let some of you guys get in and get the notification. Sometimes I just get so anxious to get going. But I did three different plaques, um, two four by sixes, and then a five by seven plaque. And then this is 11 by 14. Excuse me, sorry. I've got like a frog in my throat now and I didn't bring any water over here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Creations by Baby Doll. How are you doing? How was your week? This was just kind of a random swipe. I used the um, palette knife, just a plastic palette knife, to just kind of randomly swipe through. Um, didn't really press too hard, really just used the weight of the palette knife and they're real lightweight plastic ones to kind of just push through. But this is actually um, going to be a pretty short live stream. This was the last one I was doing tonight. I was just kind of chatting a little bit, and then I'm going to be getting off of here. I have a pretty big, it's the kind of our kickoff of the bazaar and craft fair season. So our first sell is already tomorrow. I can't believe it. Yeah, okay. I didn't I knew it would be years, but uh five to seven years for our salmon return will be horrible before like was able to recover after it. But and it was really bad because several hatcheries had um uh die off from uh several of the hatcheries had power outages. So it wasn't just you know one of them. Yeah, definitely H7. I want to do more of them in the evening. I definitely need to do it more. I'm hoping to rake it in tomorrow. I always get so nervous. I don't know. I get horrible anxiety the day before. And I second guess everything. And I, I think everything's so ugly. And nobody's going to want it. And I just get really, I get, you know, you're, you're, you are your own worst critic. I always just get really critical of my stuff. Oh, you got to go wash the dinner dishes. I'd, I'd be doing that a little bit later. All right. Well, thanks for stopping in. And I hope you guys have, I hope you have a great weekend, your average girl. And I, really, I'm going to be getting off of here too. So um, I'm going to say my goodbyes as well. So I hope all of you guys have a great weekend. And I'll try to check in at some point during the weekend. So, um. But, yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much to everyone that stopped in. Awesome. It's kind of a short one, but 
I, I try to do. Yeah, um, there were the power backups, I guess. Uh, they said they failed too, but they had several failures. I don't know, understand why, how they had so many failures. But yeah, good luck and good luck everybody that's hanging out with their grandkids. It sounds like quite a few of you are hanging out with the grandkids this weekend. That's that's awesome. That's really special. So yeah, everyone else, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for stopping in. You guys have an awesome, awesome weekend. All right, guys, have a good one. And thank you. I appreciate you guys.